Hey guys, it's Kyle and Shannon. Well, actually, it's just Kyle right now. No, that's not true. Shannon's right over here. But guess what? Today, we have rock. You guys know what that means, right? Ta-da! You Shannon's, know what's uh, coming. Shannon's she shed, Shannon shack, Shannon office shed shack. That was it, right? That's the official yeah. title. Yeah. It's on the way. And today, we got the rock delivered. It is 99 degrees. It's so hot. Feels like 103. It's still going to get just a little bit warmer before it starts to taper. And I have no shade on anything that I need to do. The goat shelter, uh, cut down that tree from the storm, move the rock or what. So we're just going to do it. Kyle's just going to do it. I'm going to stand in the shade and watch. <laughs> yeah. I'm stubborn. I want to get work done. I know it's hot. So let's just get to it. Let's do it. All right.
Okay guys, this may be a little rough today because, well for one, we have a huge blessing that it's raining and we're walking around with umbrellas, but Spruce broke our microphone transceiver the other day. You may have seen me tell him, no, don't do it. And I caught my phone after he knocked it off. Well, five minutes later, he knocked it off and actually broke it. So we are without microphones. Raid. And we're under an umbrellas. So hopefully we can just talk loud enough that you can hear us. So sorry. And it's windy. <clears throat> it's all the things. You gonna show them what you did yesterday? Yeah. This is the cool thing. Whenever you put down base rock, you know, it's got the fines in it. And so we put it down for Shannon's, the Shannon Shed, She Shed, Shannon Shack office. Is that the name? I, I can't get it the same every time. <laughs> it just ain't happening. It means there's no official name yet. So I spread this yesterday and then we debated throwing some water on it, running the, running the hose and getting it wet to kind of tamp it down a little bit. And we had like a 10% chance of rain last night, going to bed last night. I thought, no way. It's gonna be 100 some odd degrees again tomorrow, today. And so we didn't bet on it and we were wrong. It's been raining all day. Yeah, and the funny thing is, we debated filming our feeding last night for today's video. And we are like, no, we're exhausted, we're disgusting, it's hot, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're just slowly creeping your umbrella into my ear. So we didn't do it yesterday and now we are uh, filming in the rain. Yes. Is what you're getting at. Yes. But the exciting thing is, I was concerned as I did this, thinking about the runoff and would we get enough rain to even know before the building was here. I am not concerned at all. It hasn't moved. That's great. It looks really good, babe. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what I tried to do, I tried to dig in in the back so that when I put the rock in there, it basically went back up to ground level. And I think it's pretty good. I do have some uh, final raking and stuff I got to do, and then I got to check for how level it is. If we could avoid putting cat blocks or anything under it, that would be awesome. Yeah. That's my I goal. I don't think you're going to do that today, though. I don't have to do that today. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, this is a very, very welcome, much needed rain because it has been hot. I mowed. Bye. I think I mowed day before yesterday, at least up front in some of our main yard over here next to the camper. And I inhaled and ingested, I don't know how much dust, just cause it's so dry. So yeah. this is awesome. Very, very happy for this. Yeah. And we got some wet birds and wet goats that we need to go uh, love on. Yep. Okay. Well, the rock is here. I don't think we need any more. Now we're just waiting for that phone call for the building. Yeah. In delivery time. That's exciting. <laughs> All right, let's go up and see the birds. Okay. Did you know that if you leave your uh, waterproof boots out in the rain and it gets water in them, they don't do you any good when you go out? Funny how that works. Yeah. I don't know. I got to quit trusting the weather and just, you know, do the right thing, put them away. That'd be smart. The weather app, that is. Oh, bird birds. How are we? Hello. Hi everybody! Oh man, your food! What have you done? Hey, so when you got free range birds like this, do you get them out on rainy days? I mean, it's wet in there, it's muddy in there, all of them are wet. At least it would give them a chance to maybe find some kind of shelter that they like. Hi bird birds! Oh my, oh my. What do you guys want? You want some wormies? I mean, surely they know to come out and get under some shelter, right? I would think. Although those guineas are not that smart, so. Guineas, want some worms? There they go. <laughs> oh, side note. Remember I was telling you about uh, all the learning I did on getting a guinea out, getting a couple of guineas out, and doing it for a week, and then getting more out and all this and that? Yeah. I am not patient enough for that. <laughs> I had five or six of them out the other day with all three turkeys. Then Shannon accidentally let all of them out for a split second, put them back up, and then the next day we decided we don't have the patience for this. So they've all been out with us. 
And they do a great job. They all stick together. They all follow us. They did really good. And they all came back together. Kyle called them and they all followed them back up here to the run. Oh, yeah. It was super cute. Guineas, come here. There you go. I am feeling very guilty about not getting the tarp on the run. I had no idea it was going to rain. Oh, it's uh -oh. oh, grab your umbrella. You want me to dump that lid on your hand? Let me dump this bucket on there. Thanks. Yeah. Good thing. <laughs> so these guys are super vocal. They come down to the goat shelter with us. Stay right outside the pen, not the goat shelter, the pen, and they stay out there while we're feeding the animals and they just kind of hang close down there. We've got a couple of food bowls closer down by them and that's basically where they hang out during the day when it's real super hot. They don't, they don't go too far from that area yet, but I'm assuming once it cools down a little bit that maybe they'll start to kind of wander around and explore and find good places to eat and stuff. Well, that and I think once they kind of get more familiar with just being out, you know, Maybe. I don't know. Good job, Bradbirds. I just broke my umbrella. Oh no! Man, look at this. I'm a regular umbrella fixer too. Good job. I almost think they were squawking at your umbrella. <laughs> it's a good possibility. <laughs> All right, birds, you gonna go see some goats and a dog? Where are you gonna stay up here? I assume in this kind of weather, it's easier for them to get any bugs or grubs or worms out of the mud. Hopefully, right? Sure. Yeah, seemingly so. Guys, it's a muddy mess in there. Do you wanna come down here in the grass and stuff? Let's see what they do if we start walking down the hill. Okay. They're just hanging out up there. All right, well, we'll come back and check on them, but right now they're just, I assume they're looking for every last wormy that I threw. They're not concerned with coming down the hill. I kind of don't blame them. I don't either. It's so nice out here, though. It's, like, you know. I can't believe, you know, it's, what, 70 degrees? Yeah, I was going to say, it's August, and I'm in pants and a long sleeve t-shirt. I got pants on. So another thing we were thinking about whenever it started raining was this area up here. We hadn't really seen it since we cleaned all this stuff up. Now I know that we hold water, and you're going to see it in a second, we hold water right over our septic tank pretty well, <laughs> but I brought in a little bit of fill dirt from other pieces of the land and just brought this up some. So we are still holding water over there, and I plan to bring either more of our fill dirt from random piles we have and put it in that area to kind of raise that up. I just don't want to raise it so much to push water toward the camper. But yeah. yeah, a little soupy up here. Just a little bit. This just never happens. When we come down here to feed, there's always a party right here at the gate. Not I today. Even, I haven't even heard a goat make a noise yet. Uh-uh. They are still in there, aren't they? Have you checked on them? I've checked on them. They're, they're good. The challenge. They're spruce. Spruce hairs us. Hi, buddy. Hi, Herc. Oh, my. You've been sleeping. Oh, goodness. <laughs> sleepy eyes. Look at those sleepy eyes. Oh. Hi, buddy. You can close it. Hi, big guy. You are sleeping pretty good, huh? <laughs> Yeah, he's dry as a bone. He's been in that shelter sleeping with him. Oh. Hi, guys. Hi, the, Spruce. The birds just realized we're not up there. I can hear them. Spruce, go back in the shelter, silly boy. We'll feed you in there, okay? Herc hears the birds. Yeah. So the challenge here is everybody's in the shelter. Well, we've been taking Mario down to Goatville to feed him. I don't know if I'm going to force them to do that today. I would feel bad. Yeah, I would feel bad too. So well, I, we'll just have to put their feed a 
across the two cedars and I'll stand in the middle of them and let spruce eat out of one over there. Do you want to move a feeder in there and wipe it out and put it on like the pallets at least so he can not get pushed out? Sure. Okay. I'll let you. Yeah. If he'll take that. I'll grab it. Hi guys. This is what we do on rainy days, isn't it? Yeah. And you don't normally like my umbrella, do you? Oh, big stretches, Mr. Mario. Hi, Sprucers. Hi, buddy. How are you today? I've spied you sleeping in here all morning up there with them goats. That's a good boy. Oh, Spruce. Hey, hey, keep your muddy feet off me. Spruce, that goes for you too, big guy. Yeah, that goes for you too. I heard. Okay, so I think this is what we're going to do. I have Spruce's feeder. Okay. I'm just going to get full scoops of food in the little scoopers. Hey, dude, get down. Hey, buddy. Um, And we'll just scoop out their portions from in here. You cool with that? Yeah. Okay. Yes, this is your feeder. No, there's nothing in it yet. You got to be patient. You're going to get fed at the same time as everybody else today. I'm on Let me get Blue's cleaned out and put in her shelter first, and then I'll go get all the, and then we'll go get all the food. Okay. I know, I see you. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I know, hi. Hi, big guy. <laughs> so You handsome. were sleeping good, weren't you? Oh! oh Spruce. Wow. He's just hungry. Oh, oh, I'm so hungry. Hey, get off me. Okay. Thanks. No, buddy. Oh, buddy. You know no dirt, do you? You don't know dirt. You don't know goat poo. You just don't feel filth. Sure don't. Love me. That's my good boy. That's my good boy. Yeah. Oh, get stretch legs out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're so silly. You're silly. Yeah, don't get stepped on down there. I have loved these little hay feeders that I made. I made one there, and I made one down there that Mario likes to use while he's eating. And Spruce and Mama go out there and eat on that one, and even Luigi, if they're just trying to separate a little bit. However, I don't have any rain protection on them. So if they're full of hay and this rain starts, that's wasted hay. Then I'm the haster. Are you eating my pants? Why are you doing that, huh? Why are you doing that, big guy? Are you that hungry? Are you just starving? Yeah, oh, you look like you're starving. I hear those guineas, man. They're trying to figure out where we are. They're coming down. We're down here, birds. We're down here feeding. So this is kind of their hangout spot right there. We keep those two water bowls down. And they like to get up on that stump and roost. And they'll hang out here because they listen for us to come out there and they want to be close to this guy. Yeah, I know. What are you doing, silly boy? You're afraid of their man, remember? You're a goat. I really am beginning to enjoy these birds. They get Herc all amped up too. He really wants to play with them, but we haven't worked with him yet with a leash and a collar, but that will be uh, the only way we can introduce him anytime soon. They're going over there to where Shannon is. Are we missing a guinea? No. No? Okay. I just can't count today? I counted 11. Okay. What can I do to help you? Get the gate, please. Oops, sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. We're not going to eat any birds today, okay, bud? Or ever, for that matter. Okay, guys. Okay. I assume maybe Mama and Mario will. I don't know. 
Spruce, why this don't you? This is gonna be chaotic. I, you know what? I think we're just gonna have to throw it and. Spruce, over here. Over here. Come on. All right. That's kind of how I expected. Mario gets his own. Luigi and Mama, doing great. We got more for you guys. Sprucer's got his own over there. And now we will have to babysit. Because Mario's probably going to inhale his, and then as soon as he's done, he runs everybody else off. He may not even finish his. He just starts it, and then he goes and checks on everybody else's. I do need to go get blue hers real quick. Hey, hey, hey. There you go, Mama. Good girl. I'm going to get your food too, Herc. I promise. Yours is coming. Just please stay down. Mario's being okay at the moment. Yep. Those two are getting along pretty well. Once I see each of them have eaten at least a cup or so, you know, there's not going to be stopping him after too long. Yeah. These two, brother and sister all day. They're not actually. Luigi is Mario's brother, but these two act like brother and sister. A lot of times when we throw their food, we'll put it in both of these feeders, but they will eat all of it from one feeder and then they'll go together to the other feeder. I know. Herc, you don't need to supervise. Spruce, you doing okay down here? Okay, babe. I'm gonna go give Blue and the babies their food real quick, okay? Okay. Hi, baby. All right, let's get this in here. You share with your babies. Good girl. What do you think of those birds, Herc? Christina, always hanging out by herself. She's like our spruce. Hey, did you know like turkeys, at least the uh, white breasted ones, what are they called? Broad. broad breasted. Especially the white broad breasted ones, like they turn redder when they feel, I don't know if it's a threat or, but apparently that, you see how the one's got a much more red for those goblets? Yeah, his neck. And then the other one's like almost flesh colored. It's crazy. That is crazy. I didn't know it would do that. Did you get enough to eat, Mama? She's like, what are those birds? Most of the day today, if, if the rain continues, and I think it's supposed to for a while. Yeah they will stay in here so we'll get them plenty of hay so they have plenty to eat on <laughs> Golly, dude. we're gonna take Mario for a ride let's go buddy vroom, vroom. he doesn't like that <laughs> I can't imagine why you stink so good Herc's like oh do I need to get involved Spruce is like guys can I just eat my food please I feel like he just pushes it around with his nose. It never goes anywhere. He's just a little bit slower. I hurt. What's those grunting sounds you're making up there? Technically, what's her expected due date based on when we observed her and Mario? September. The beginning of September. Like September 1st? Like September 3rd. So September 3rd. Yeah. September 3rd is five months. We'll see how long she actually makes it. What do you think, baby girl? Are you done, buddy? What's in there? What's in this one? What about this one? What else is in here, Mom? What'd you bring me? You got mm -hmm. hot dog in here? Oh, uh, boring. Nothing else for me? Nothing really? else. Nothing? Nothing. This in the whole wide world. Nothing? Nope, you actually have to hang out goat with the other pockets. goats today. You got goat treats in your pockets? I don't even have goat treats in What's my pockets. What's you got that I don't? You give him something good? Nope. 
Hmm. He got the exact same thing. Don't make me break your phone again, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll do it. Yeah, let's not do that again. I'll do it. I poured the food in Blue's feeder, and her and the boys just went straight to it, and all three of them started eating out of it. It was perfect. Yeah. Hey, we talked about this. We're not going to be clothes eaters, remember? We're not going to be clothes eaters. Well, I feel like we're going to have to speed up our uh, chicken acquisition. Mr. Hurt's looking for eggs. Is he? Yeah. Are you looking for an egg? Hey, Bubba. Got your food over here. Yeah. You need some food? I'm so happy for them. It is new to us, obviously, to, well, all of this, but especially to have animals. Hey, don't take his food from him. He was trying to call it <laughs> Silly boy. But man, when you have back to back to back days that it gets up over 100, and that's actual temperature, uh, man, they, they're just so lethargic and they just pant and they don't, there's no, no activity. And, you know, we want to get them out and graze them and stuff, but if we take them out, Hercules runs all over the place, you know, and he just wears himself out and it's hard on him. So I'm really happy for a day like today where they can just be cool, rest, rest up a little bit, be a little less stinky. <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This is not where I want to be. <laughs> Golly, their markings are so similar. I think they're going to have some really cute babies. Yeah. All right, well, am I safe to go get him some hay? Yes. Are the birds following you? Yeah, 100%. They really don't seem to mind to be out in the rain. You know, all of them will just kind of puff their feathers out every so often to knock off some of the loose water, but they're acting pretty normal. Good. Other than they're paranoid they're following me. <laughs> the only time this shelter feels small is when it's raining. Yep. Well, and it'll be nice when I have that other one done and we'll have them split up a little bit more so that we'll at least have Mama in one of these two. And we may be able to put Spruce in with her and her goatlets. Yeah. Maybe. Not full time, but just for feeding. For feeding. Like rainy days and stuff. But yeah, we'll have multiple options. I just know that someday you're going to ask me to build them a shelter down in Goatville. I think you want to build a shelter down in Goatville. I want them to have a shelter down in Goatville, but I don't need that on my list right now. I'm not adding that to your list right now. But yeah, deep down, I, I do want one. So this got just a tiny bit wet, but I think it'll be fine. Okay. If you hurry. I got more. Yeah, let's do a little bit more since they'll be in here all day. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Okay, you guys all have to share this, okay? One, two, three, four. There's four of you that need to eat out of this one. You gonna eat it off my shirt, Spruce? Hey, do you want me to... Not my actual shirt, just the hay off my shirt. Um, yeah, I want to clean theirs out and put it inside the shelter for Blue. Hey, I don't need you jumping on me today, okay? Are the Turks visiting you? He just drank out of his hole he dug. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, it's a good thing you went and got hay yesterday. Thank you. You're welcome. Man, babe, one of the best things that you did on this shelter was make an overlap, like an overhang. It really does make a difference for them. Oh, yeah. And us. And us, yes, but definitely for them. Oh, look at Mama. She's like, I'm going to eat paper towels. What are you doing, silly girl? 
Hey, lady. What are you doing? Hi. Hi, baby girl. Hi, boys. You guys are staying nice and dry in here, huh? Yep. We're getting you some hay, Blue. Him, boys. Spruce is definitely a goat dog. I don't know any other goat that would go out in the rain like he does. <laughs> I would agree with that. Oh, I need to get this swept out for you. Are you eating the hay off of me? Thank you. Thank you. You're so silly. All right, guys. Stay dry today. Love you, boys. Yeah, love you, boys. Love you, Blue. Oh, Harry, you are so funny. Okay. Mama. Sprucers. Luigi. Mario. Love you guys. Love you, Herc. That's kind of a surprise. This is what you call a long distance relationship between goats. You see Mario over in the shelter, but he doesn't want to get his pretty coat rained on. <laughs> He's just going to throw his little num -num 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 from over there. He can stand to get his pretty coat rained on. I've pet him and my hand smells terrible. <laughs> he looks over here, where'd they go? Hey, 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 I knew, I knew you were over there. That poor guy. He's got about two things on the brain. One is food and uh, yeah, then there's the other. All right guys, well the animals are all wet, we're all wet and we're not complaining. It no. does not make for a good filming day. But out here, we need this rain and it is welcome as long as it wants to stay. Yeah. In fact, I just got a notification for like a flash flood warning. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Ours all it. run down to our little uh, pop-up pond, right? Yep. All right, well, we're gonna watch Herc uh, tease these birds through the fence and see the birds tease Herc through the fence. And we're gonna wait for the rain to stop and take ourselves a nice little relaxing day and just enjoy the cool. Yeah. And the water, the rain. Just enjoy the day. Enjoy it all. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we love and appreciate each and every one of you. And we thank you so much for coming along on this journey with us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Come on, bird birds. <laughs>